Hello viewers, I hope you are all doing well today. It's your host Jack, kindly subscribe, comment, like and also share. It was... Well, I think what they've done is one of the most courageous and fearless oh. things I've seen. I think they're, uh, I think to walk away from all of that, uh, I mean, the public grief that we know about, but to all of that family pain. Mm. Well, we should think of the Queen as a great grandmother and we should think of Prince Charles as a dad. I mean, they will all be suffering from this hugely. Um, and Harry has chosen to walk away from all of that to protect his wife and his children. Um, and I think that you, you've got the analysis of the media totally right, that the angriest media is from the angriest people or the people feeding mm. Mr. and Mrs. Angry. Um, <laughs> but I think all of us need to look at ourselves uh, and think of this as a family that's been blowing itself apart, probably no more seriously than many families are going through or have gone through and haven't been walked, able to walk away. Mm. But we're thinking of these, as, if we think of them as human beings, as sons and daughters and sisters-in-laws and mother-in-laws and uh, great-grandmothers and great-grandfathers, you know, our hearts should be bleeding for these two. Um, I, it, uh, it, I, I mean, you're not in any way suggesting they should be bleeding more for these two than for, for people, you know, stuck no. in a dinghy in the middle of the English Channel or, or, or living in, no. in Syria no, at the I, time, or even people using food banks. But it's not either or, is it? This is one of the great mysteries not, of our it's era. It's not either or. You know, and, and we are showing ourselves more and more to be a nation with less and less compassion well, and sure. less and less tolerance of different people, different choices. I mean, that was what was going on in the family. I mean, without knowing any of the detail or any of the personalities involved, <laughs> it was differences of opinion, it's differences of definition of duty, it's yes. different differences of definition of loyalty. And for Megan, what she was being asked to become was completely impossible for her to be who she really it, it was. It was, can you protect us as well, that resonated with me. Or, or we just yes. wanted can some help, we wanted no. some protection. Can you help me? No. And because what we're yeah. being exposed to is different from what everybody else has been exposed to. So, so yeah. the fact that we're getting less help and support is, is the argument they made. Is, is, yes. it, makes, it actually makes sense of everything. But if you don't understand, then you are much more easily manipulated into a kind of unfocused anger, aren't you? Or into, a, into well, a indignation. Are, and we, we, we see this with every rabbit hole and conspiracy theory going. The anti-vaxxers, the anti-maskers, the you know, Bill Gates theorists. Mm. I mean, the, the, uh, sensible, intelligent people get hooked up in this because they're only exposed to their own bubble and they're terrified of being wrong. I guess we are all terrified of being wrong at some stage in our life. But what I saw... Well, so, some, of, some of us less than others. Well, no, um, so, some, of mean, us, some of us have written a book about it, Adrian, but no one likes a, self -pub I, I, no one likes a I, self publicist. I, I, and I've read them both. Oh, um, uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, I, I think that this ability to be vulnerable and wrong and human uh, is what they've shown us in that interview. Um, I believed every word of it. I don't believe they were mincing their words. Um, they did announce at the beginning of the interview that they weren't being paid for it. Mm. Um, uh, they need, well, they want to get their them. version of events on, on the record. And, and They want to get their version of events on the record to appeal to the reasonable, sensible, rational, nuanced thinkers in society, which are fewer and fewer and fewer. Harry and Meghan's story is a stark reminder that even in the modern world, tradition can come at a heavy cost. The couple's journey has shed light on the need for change within outdated institutions. Their actions have sparked important conversations about the role of the monarchy and the media in contemporary society. This is a story about the human cost of outdated institutions and the desperate need for change. Harry and Meghan's experiences have highlighted the importance of compassion, understanding, and the need to challenge harmful traditions. Their story is a call to action, urging us to reflect on the values we hold dear and the kind of world we want to create. It's a story that demands our attention, our empathy, and our understanding. Harry and Meghan's journey is a powerful reminder of the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring power of love. Their story continues to inspire and challenge us to strive for a more just and compassionate world. From the outset, Meghan faced a barrage of criticism, much of it fueled by thinly veiled racism. The British tabloid press, notorious for its ruthlessness, targeted her relentlessly, Every move was scrutinized, every word twisted. Meghan's heritage, her background, and even her clothes became subjects of debate. The attacks were relentless, often laced with a disturbing undercurrent of prejudice. This wasn't just about Meghan's suitability for royal life, it was about who she was at her core. 
The institution itself, steeped in centuries of tradition, seemed ill-equipped to handle the complexities of a modern interracial relationship. The support Megan needed, the protection she deserved, was nowhere to be found. The palace walls, meant to protect, instead became a cage, trapping Megan in a system seemingly resistant to change. The institution, built on tradition and hierarchy, struggled to adapt to the challenges of a modern world, leaving Harry and Meghan to fend for themselves. The British media, particularly the tabloid press, played a significant role in shaping the narrative around Harry and Meghan. Their relationship became a source of endless speculation, with headlines often bordering on the absurd. Every detail, from Meghan's family relationships to her fashion choices, was dissected and criticised. The media frenzy reached a fever pitch, fueled by a toxic combination of racism, sexism, and a thirst for scandal. This wasn't just harmless gossip, it had real-world consequences. The constant negativity took a toll on Harry and Meghan's mental health, pushing them to the brink. The relentless scrutiny created a hostile environment, making it impossible for them to live a normal life. The media's role in this story is a stark reminder of the power of the press and the responsibility that comes with it. It highlights the dangers of unchecked bias, and the devastating impact of sensationalism. Breaking free from the gilded cage. Facing relentless scrutiny and a lack of support, Harry and Meghan made the difficult decision to step back from their roles as senior royals. The couple had long been under the intense glare of the public eye, with every move and decision dissected by the media. This constant pressure took a toll on their mental and emotional well-being, leading them to re-evaluate their positions within the royal family. This unprecedented move sent shockwaves through the monarchy and beyond. The world watched in astonishment as the couple, who had once been seen as the fresh, modern face of the royal family, chose to step away from their official duties. Their decision sparked a global conversation about the role of the monarchy in contemporary society and the personal sacrifices required of its members. Their departure was not a rejection of royal life itself, but a rejection of the constraints and pressures that came with it. The couple had always expressed a deep respect for the institution and its traditions, but they found the expectations placed upon them to be suffocating. The relentless schedule of public engagements, the constant scrutiny, and the lack of privacy became too much to bear. It was a bold statement, a refusal to conform to outdated expectations. By stepping back, Harry and Meghan were asserting their right to live a life that was true to themselves, free from the constraints of royal protocol. They sought to carve out a new path, one that allowed them to focus on their passions and causes without the constant pressure of royal duties. This decision was about more than just their own happiness. It was about creating a healthier environment for their family. Harry and Meghan were determined to protect their children from the same toxic environment that had caused them so much pain. They wanted to provide a sense of normalcy and stability for their young family, away from the relentless media scrutiny. It was about protecting their children from the same toxic environment that had caused them so much pain. The couple had witnessed firsthand the damaging effects of constant media attention and public scrutiny, and they were determined to shield their children from the same fate. They wanted to give their children the chance to grow up in a more nurturing and supportive environment. It was about breaking free from a system that seemed determined to break them. The couple's decision to step back was a powerful act of defiance against a system that had often seemed more interested in preserving tradition than in supporting the well-being of its members. By choosing to prioritise their mental and emotional health, Harry and Meghan were challenging the very foundations of the monarchy. Harry and Meghan's departure marked a turning point, challenging the very foundations of the monarchy and forcing a conversation about its place in the modern world. Their decision to step back from their royal roles prompted a broader discussion about the relevance of the monarchy in the 21st century and the need for it to evolve to meet the changing expectations of society. It was a courageous act of self-preservation, a declaration that their well-being mattered more than tradition. By stepping away from their royal duties, Harry and Meghan were making a powerful statement about the importance of mental health and personal happiness. Their decision to prioritise their own well-being over the demands of tradition was a bold and inspiring move, one that resonated with many people around the world. Choosing family over duty. Harry's decision to prioritise his family's well-being over royal protocols was a defining moment. It was a moment that would be remembered not just by the public, but by his family, 
for generations to come. This decision was not just about stepping back from royal duties, it was about stepping forward into a new life, one where his family's safety and happiness were paramount. It showed a man determined to break free from the mistakes of the past, a man who refused to let history repeat itself. Harry had grown up under the intense scrutiny of the media, and he knew all too well the toll it could take. His choice was a bold statement, a declaration that he would not allow his family to suffer the same fate. He had witnessed firsthand the devastating impact of media intrusion on his mother, Princess Diana. The constant hounding by paparazzi, the relentless headlines and the invasive stories had all contributed to her untimely death. Harry's memories of his mother were filled with both love and pain, and he was determined to shield his own family from such anguish. He saw the same patterns emerging, the same relentless pursuit, and he refused to let it happen again. The media's obsession with his every move and their unending scrutiny of Meghan was a stark reminder of the past. Harry knew that if he didn't take a stand, history would indeed repeat itself, and he was not willing to take that risk. This was not a decision made lightly. It involved deep reflection, countless conversations, and a profound understanding of the consequences. Harry and Meghan weighed their options carefully, considering...